Hello, I'm your coding yard and we'll be creating the multiple item card slider again but this time we'll slide only a single card at a time and this is how it will look on the smaller screens. This is a Bootstrap 5 starter template and I have linked the CSS and the JS file. Let's start with the Bootstrap carousel with controls. Add some more carousel items. Now let's add some cards. I'll be using this card. Replace the images with the cards. Add your images to the cards. Remove this fixed width. For the larger screens, let's display multiple cards. So for the screens with minimum width 576 pixels, set the display property of carousel inner dev to flex. Reduce the carousel item width to display three cards at once. Set the flex to 0, 0 and a third of the entire width. The right margin for the non-active elements is minus 100%. Let's change that to 0. Now let's change the display property for all the items to block. Let's add some styles. Set the padding for the carousel inner dev and add some margin to the cards. Try using images that are of the same size, but since these images aren't, let's add an image wrapper. Now to style it, let's add a maximum width of 100% and a fixed height. Set the max width and height of the image to 100%. Let's set a different height for the smaller screens. The images look stretched out. We don't need this class. Let's use flex to align it. Set the justify content to center. And set the align items to flex start. Also adjust the height as per your images. As you can see, this works fine on the smaller screens but not on the larger ones. So now to make it work, we'll be using some jQuery. Now to make the next button to work, get the width of the entire carousel then a single card and on click of the next button we set the scroll position to current scroll position plus the card width before that let's set the initial scroll position to zero let's get the click event so for the next button on click we change our scroll position now to actually make it scroll, we use, this should be the first element. So to scroll it, we use the animate function and set the scroll left to our current scroll position and the duration to 600 milliseconds. 
and it's not working because I forgot to add the jQuery link. Okay, let's just add it. Remember not to use the slim version. Let's also keep the console open and log a click event. We need to check if we've reached the seventh card as we don't need to scroll any further. Right now, it keeps updating the scroll position. So let's add a condition to check that. If scroll position is less than the entire carousel width minus card width into 4, which is the number of cards displayed plus 1. Add all of this inside the condition. Now let's do the same for the previous button. To go back, we subtract the card width. Here we need to check if we are at the first card. So the scroll position for the first card would be 0. Oh sorry, the scroll position should be greater than 0. We don't need the slide effect for larger screens anymore. We also don't want any of our jQuery changes to affect the smaller screens. So just like the media query in CSS, we'll be checking if the minimum width of the window is 576 pixels and if it matches, we can execute all of this. Else, we'll see this later. We also need to stop the auto cycling for the larger screens. So let's head over to the methods section and use this. This is our multiple item carousel. Let's get the ID. Apply this only for the larger screens. Set the intervals to false. Oh, this should be our multiple item carousel. And for the smaller screens, we need to add back the slide class. Here's some extra styling. If you're still here, thanks for watching.